What's the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's disease? Hi, this is Eddie Rodriguez. I've been caregiving for my father diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's since 2018. I've also been helping him manage something called the Bredesen Protocol for reversing cognitive decline. On this Brain Health channel, I share what me and my family have learned throughout this journey and what we're currently learning in the hope that it's helpful to others looking to educate themselves on Alzheimer's treatment and prevention. So what's the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's disease? Simply, Alzheimer's disease is a specific disease while dementia is really an umbrella term used to describe a group of symptoms affecting memory, thinking, and social abilities. These symptoms are typically called cognitive decline. The diminishing in function in these areas typically interferes with affected person's daily life. Memory loss is usually the hallmark symptom, but disturbances in behavior, feelings, relationships, language, and motor function are also involved. Dementia is not just one disease. In fact, there are several types of dementias with different causes. Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia, which is why sometimes you'll hear it referred to as Alzheimer's dementia. Just like when you hear that someone's been diagnosed with cancer, you'd think and ask, well, what type of cancer is it? Is it breast cancer? Is it prostate cancer? Is it skin, pancreatic, etc.? There are multiple types of dementia, the most common being Lewy body dementia, frontotemporal dementia, vascular dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia, accounting for up to 80% of all dementia cases. About 6.9 million people in the U.S. and more than 55 million people around the world have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Common symptoms include memory loss, problems with communicating, visual spatial abilities, reasoning, problem solving, planning, organizing, confusion, disorientation, coordination, and control of movements. There can also be behavioral disturbances such as depression, anxiety, agitation, paranoia, and hallucinations. As the symptoms typically gradually worsen over time, this leads to the patient becoming completely dependent on at least one other person before eventually dying with the disease. Although there are currently no cures, for any of the dementias, there are measures that can help for Alzheimer's disease. Take the Bredesen Protocol, also known as the RECODE Protocol, RECODE for Reversal of Cognitive Decline, which has been tremendously helpful for my dad and my family. Dr. Dale Bredesen and his team have helped hundreds of people reverse their symptoms of cognitive decline, establish mild cognitive impairment, and Alzheimer's disease with this protocol's evidence in successful studies in 2014, 2016, 2018, and 2022, and current clinical trials. I've linked these studies in the description box below so you can take a look for yourself. It may prove to be very helpful. And if you're interested in learning more about the Bredesen Protocol, you can click on this video on the screen, also linked below. And I'd love to hear from you. Have you also had a family history of dementia or Alzheimer's? What do you think of this video? Please drop me a comment. If you found this information helpful, please feel free to share this video with anyone you think it could serve, and please like and subscribe as it helps our community grow. And remember, I'm not a doctor. I don't have a PhD. I'm a caregiver and citizen researcher on the ground, helping a loved one, someone just like you. This information is for educational purposes only. Please consult your medical practitioner before implementing any changes. Thank you for watching. My dad thanks you, and hope these resources are helpful to you and your family.